Hi YouTube, my name is Eric. If you haven't clicked the like and subscribe button yet, click the like and subscribe button right down there. My name is Eric and I have a channel that's based around addiction, mental health, mental illness, depression, anxiety, suicide awareness, and making it through everyday life. Why? Because I'm an addict. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I deal with PTSD, ADHD, depression, anxiety on a daily basis, and no journey's worth going alone. So click the like and subscribe button and let's do this together. Hi YouTube, my name is Eric. You know, my channel is about depression, anxiety, mental health, mental illness, sobriety, suicide awareness, just all that kind of wrapped into one. If you're into that and, and that's what your channel's about, you probably have been to that point where you're just pretty much, fuck this, I'm done, I'm over, I'm deleting my YouTube channel. It's normal, especially if we're affected by any kind of mental illness, and it happens, I've been there. So many times I've looked at it and just said, you know what, I'm done with this, I don't wanna do it anymore almost, because I feel that I'm not able to get the response that I wanted to, because let's face it, a lot of us, when we start our YouTube channel, we've started it doing it on mental health, mental illness, we wanna help impact and change lives. We also are in a generation where we want to see instant, instant results. And if we don't get those instant results, you know what? I'm over. I'm done. And it does play a waging war in our brain. I did this collaboration with Hannah. I follow Hannah on Twitter. Found out she had a YouTube channel and, and we've communicated back and forth. And I wanted to do a collab on YouTube channel and, and dealing with depression or anxiety. She has BPD, which is something I don't suffer with. But we've all been to that point where we're like, fuck this, I'm over doing YouTube. You may or may not be able to relate to that. It's, it's a difficult thing because you pour your heart and soul out. You really want to get a strong message across and you might get 10 likes. And then all of a sudden, out of those 10 likes, you get a thumbs down and you're going, what the hell? Like, I'm trying to portray a great message. I'm trying to get a message across of bringing awareness, of helping others, of sharing tools, sharing resources. It doesn't always go how we want it to go. And this video really is to bring light to that. One, let you know that you're not alone in that. There's a a lot of YouTube creators out there that have been through that. I've been through that. I know a lot of us have because we find it difficult to do these channels and to do these videos. One, keeping consistent. Two, when we have our mental ups and downs, still trying to put out a video that's going to somehow help portray a message or give a message or share a message that's going to help other people. Already in our head, we're a little screwed up where it comes to I just down and out and self-destructive that all of a sudden trying to put together this channel to share this message, it wages war on our head. If you're doing a channel that's on mental health and it's on mental illness, all I can say is don't give up. One of the greatest things I've found about doing this is one, yes, it's great because we gain subscribers and we gain, you know, video views and, and we cheer ourselves on and we're excited about it, but it's also therapeutic. It's very therapeutic to get our stories and our shares off of our chest. That's why there's so many groups out there like NAMI and AA that are based around shares because the more that we share, the more that we get it off our chest, the more that it helps us. And in return, hopefully it helps somebody else. But we don't know and we never know what message we're going to get across if somebody enjoys it or not. That's okay. If you're doing your channel, don't fucking delete it. Trust me, don't delete it. Keep it up. If you have to take a break from YouTube, take a break from YouTube. Give yourself that mental refresher so that you can come back and you can keep doing it. Look at it this way. If you're trying to be that overnight hit success, I'm not saying that you can't be. Odds are though, let's face what reality is, you might not be and it's gonna take you some time to grow. Shit, it took me almost a year to grow to where I needed to be to even get past my thousand subscribers in my hours watch. Do it for you because believe me, just those 10 people, 15 people that saw your video, that found your video, they needed your video. They found it for a reason. And that's something that you want to remember is they found it for a reason. Don't delete your channel because you're making a difference. I seek out small channels and root them on and give encouragement on the comment section because it's so important to me. Somebody knows that, hey, what you put out there, what you put your heart and soul into is watch. It's a little bit difficult. I mean, call it what it is. We're putting our heart and soul out there. We're being the most vulnerable we can, talking about how we can't make it out the fucking front door or how we're crying ourselves to sleep. We're, we're losing our job or, or how we're getting admitted to a hospital. We're sharing real shit that we probably haven't even shared with some of our friends and family. But we're sharing it here to just out of the hope of one, helping ourselves and sharing it, but two, hopefully helping somebody else also. There's a ton of ups and downs when it comes to YouTube. So when you get to that point and you will go, fuck this, I'm deleting my channel, just trust me, don't do it. 
So if you thought about it before, you've made it this far, don't delete your channel. I have Hannah here who's gonna share about having BPD, which is borderline personality disorder, and having a YouTube channel because I've watched Hannah's ups and downs with YouTube of, oh my goodness, I've gained subscribers, and then all of a sudden, let's face it, if you're like me, I'm ADHD. I'm reloading, 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 reloading. I'm going to my subscribers, I'm reloading, I'm reloading, God forbid, my subscriber count drops. I wanna delete my channel. Trust me, don't. People will come and go. What it's about, though, is it's about you doing something that you enjoy, that you're passionate about, sharing a message that you're passionate about. Believe me, you're helping more people than you could ever, ever imagine. So I'm going to let Hannah share her part of it, and then I'm going to follow up with that on she deals with BPD and I deal with depression, and we both have YouTube channels. So, Hannah, take it away. Well, Eric has kindly asked me to do a video for his channel, and um, he asked me to talk about what it's like as a YouTuber with borderline personality disorder. I'm going to try and keep it as just kind of short as possible. Uh, so I just want to say that it is quite hard being a YouTuber with this because I find that if something little happens that's kind of negative I will kind of like blow it out of proportion and be like I can't do YouTube anymore. I'll get like one dislike on my video and I'll have like five or six likes on it and I'll be like no that's it everyone hates me so I think oh that I need to delete my channel now. So that's kind of how it feels. In general, being a YouTuber, I enjoy it. It really helps me. It helps me to like have something to do during the day. And it helps me to like keep busy. It keeps my mind distracted and it's something to focus on. I also find it hard because if I'm having a bad day and I was, I had said like my upload days and that are normally like Thursday or Friday so I normally try and get my video done for Wednesday or Thursday morning and if I don't do that then I feel like I've just not really bothered and then I find that I don't I don't have the motivation to keep up a YouTube channel sometimes so I do find it hard like I've not really had my YouTube channel that long anyway I've had it about four months now there was a period where I didn't upload for about a month and Recently I have been doing it weekly, so I'm kind of glad that I've kind of picked it back up again. Yeah, it can be really hard, like, having a YouTube with borderline personality disorder. Especially then having to, like, get people to then come and look at your channel sort of thing. Because it is a lot of work, it's not just, like, post it here, there and there. It's more than that. You have to be able to communicate a lot with people even when you don't want to and I find that very hard. That's part of my borderline personality disorder where sometimes I either love people or I hate people so it is quite hard to like keep up trying to communicate and especially as a mental health YouTuber because people will reach out for you, uh, reach out to you for support and it can be quite tough because if you're not in a good place yourself, it's hard to give advice to someone about something that they're struggling with because when I am struggling, I just want to be left alone. I don't, I find it hard to communicate. For people to reach out to me is really lovely and I really appreciate the support and like when people like ask me for advice and things and I actually really do love it because part of borderline personality disorder is we like to help other people out more than we like to help ourselves out and it's always been like my trait for me so I do appreciate when people come to me like to talk about any problems they're going through I, it really helps me to like take my mind off things that I'm going through another thing about being a youtuber is I do a good video I think I've done a good video and then it doesn't get as many likes as a video that I didn't think was good it can be quite upsetting for me because I think, well, I've wasted a lot of time editing this and I've done a lot of work towards that video and it's just not got as much love and appreciation that I thought it would have. So it can be quite tough and it does make me want to quit YouTube every now and again. But I know why I'm doing it now and it has helped me to like keep doing it recently. But that's all I can really say about being a YouTuber and being and having borderline personality disorder is that is irrational thoughts about deleting your account every now and again. Especially if I'm going through like an Id identity crisis and I look at my face in some of the videos and I'm like that doesn't even look like me to me. That's kind of just like 
I've got to go with that because if I keep deleting a channel and restarting one then I'm just gonna get nowhere. But that's kind of all I can say really about borderline personality disorder and being a YouTuber. It can be really hard but it is really rewarding. Thank you Eric for letting me do this video for your channel. I really appreciate it. If I could do anything else about talking about borderline personality disorder, I would love to do that for you. Hannah, thanks so much for that share. As you can see with her, there's a lot of ups and downs to it. She pours her heart and soul into this. Again, don't delete your channel. If you have a mental health, mental illness channel, it does so much good. If you have a mental health share, it does so much good to helping other people. Because believe me, more people around you wear a mask than what you could ever imagine. More people put on that fake smile than you could ever imagine. Because life is great and look at me and I'm keeping up with the Joneses. Whatever bullshit. Trust me, everybody's going through a war in their head. What you're doing is making a difference. I mean, I deal with depression. There's been so many times that I've wanted to delete my channel just because it's not getting the views. I mean, shit. The first couple videos I did, I thought I was going to have a million views all of a sudden. And I woke up and I thought no one appreciated my message. But I also didn't understand how YouTube works. I didn't understand what this was really about. I just thought people were magically going to find it, sprinkle in, and go, oh my goodness, you've helped me. But I can tell you this. Why it's worth keep going is, again, I've almost done this for a year, a video that I put up in August, which was something that is my heart and soul, my why behind doing it all, was sharing the this, this story of my wife and my father who committed suicide. It's tons of views, tons of comments, and it's just, it's great to interact with people and how many people that it has touched. It's not about money, it's not about being YouTube famous, any of that, it's about helping other people. When you have the heart and you, you have that desire to help other people, one, it helps you, and it helps you in healing and growing and, and being who you are. Two, though, it helps other people, and it helps them know that they're not alone. It helps them know that it's okay. So don't give up on what you're doing, believe me. If I haven't found your channel yet, I probably will. I do a ton of searching when it comes to depression, anxiety, mental health, mental illness, BPD, schizophrenia, any kind of mental illness out there, because our personal real shares or will make a difference in other people's lives. So don't forget that. Keep doing you, don't give up, because you are helping other people. Yeah, we might not get paid as a professional, we're not a professional, we're not a counselor, we're not a doctor, but you know what, it feels pretty damn good to help other people. I hope that you got something out of this. If you ever thought about fucking deleting your channel, get that out of your head. You can do this, we can do this together. It's people helping people, and let's do this. Let's make a difference in somebody's life who's suffering silently. Let's make a difference in somebody's life who's out there hurting. Together we can. So again, thanks for watching this. If you haven't clicked the like and subscribe button, they're right down there. Click the like and subscribe button. Love to have you along for the journey. Hannah, again, thank you so much. Her links are down below. Check out her channel. She has great tools, great information, and I love a lot of what she's about. So check out her channel. See what she's about. People helping people. Thanks again, guys.